That's, I see it. Okay. That's three. Yeah, that's I three. Three o'clock. I got it. 108 feet. Ian Kerr has been studying whales for 30 years. Recently, he's been working with a small crew of researchers to get closer to whales than ever before by using a drone. Look at that blowhole. He flies through clouds of whale snot, collecting as much of the slimy material he can on attached petri dishes. He calls it the snot bot. Look at the lens. Can you see the little speckles? Oh, just, yeah, you're that's, filthy, man. That's blow. <laughs> We've been snotted. The snot is full of DNA, microbiomes, and hormones. All this gives scientists a window into the whale's health that used to be pretty hard to access. We don't know what might be in here, what sort of little gem. It's almost like digging for gold, you know? You Except get a big pile of earth and then you dig through it. <laughs> Except it's not. You know what? It's not what you think. You, you know what? I was not ready for that, but uh, <laughs> I guess I should have been. <laughs> Before he was using drones, Kira would have to shoot a dart into a whale to collect a flesh sample. I was sitting on the bow of a boat one day with a crossbow, okay? Mm -hmm. Just about to get the data. I'm like, I really want this. The day is ending. Just about to get it. And 70 feet away, the whale dove. And I was oh, no. sitting there depressed. And this cloud of biological goop sort of settled over me. And it was stinky and it was smelly and sticky. You know, maybe we can collect snot. If I can get it on my skin, you know, what, what do I need? Why don't we send something out and go get it? So just slap a petri dish on it and then call it a day. Why would people care about the health of whales? Healthy oceans means healthy humans. If you want to know what's going on with our oceans, there's no better species to look at than whales. Oh, you know what? It might be diving. I'm still over the whale. Normally, blue whales come up for four or five breaths of air, and then they dive deep again for around 12 minutes. But this one was cruising near the surface, and it was starting to test the limits of their equipment. <laughs> this is right on the edge of my capacity. You know, we're really on the edge of a lottery win here, you know what I mean? But it's almost losing it. You'd be surprised how little we know about whales. I mean, it, it's almost like I'm a biologist, and I've just looked down a microscope for the first time. Is this something they do, just kind of hang out near the surface? You know, I've never seen this before. Really? Yeah. So this could be something that blue whales do all the time, it's just we've never noticed. Exactly. Because we've never had a drone to watch it like exactly. this. Exactly. Can you get close, Amigo? Because my battery is really flat. We're already very close, so you're pretty good. But it's saying there's only enough battery to bring it back. Oh, that's your shot right okay. there. You shot. <laughs> All right, amigo, let's get, let's get it. Oh, yeah, this is the best one so far. Look at the, uh, look at the, uh, you got it. all the snot on here. Muy bueno, muy bueno. I mean, you know, it said only enough battery to come home. and I, I saw said, you push cancel. I said cancel, yeah. and I keep going. <laughs> wow. And then we got, I mean, that was like the best shot we've ever got. 